Hi, this is Coops from Chucking and Mosh. Today we're within Trenches, guitarist Kevin. How are you going? Good. Well, we've just watched you guys play Break the Ice and you've spin up in Queensland for shows on the new album, Soul Obscura. How's the new material been going down? It's pretty good, like, uh, I guess the whole record's only been online for about a week or so and people have only had a small amount of time to digest it and there's a lot going on, um, as you would have heard in the tracks, but at the same time, everyone seems pretty excited that there's finally some new stuff out. Um, they seem pretty uh, appreciative when we actually do come up, and um, yeah, reception's been pretty cool. Now you say that the, the tracks are a bit out there, and as a band, things are a bit out there, which makes it hard to capture on the album. The first album, I believe, didn't quite capture what you were able to do live, whereas yep. Soul Obscure has really nailed what you're going after. Have you gone about things slightly differently with the second album? Yeah, absolutely. Um, with Relive and Regret, uh, we knew using the engineers that we did because they were friends. They they don't really do much stuff with that live room vibe sound. Um, they're big on you know compression and making sure everything's really tight, getting rid of any any of those special little guitar hums or something that's not really meant to be part of a riff, but on the recording kind of. You know, those little magic things that happen that uh, aren't necessarily a riff or something, just a, a noise, a hum, a scratch or something. And so they, they kind of cleaned it up too much, I felt, uh, on Real Living Regret. At this time, especially using Joel, um, we talked about wanting it. We're almost going to go almost a Nirvana approach with the production and have it totally room like and not, not, um, not too... Uh, not too precise in Not tracks. too precise in that, but at the same time with our stuff, there's all the intricateness with the guitars, with the drums and that. And we need the cleanliness. Yeah, exactly. Like, listening to it um, with that kind of overall sound, there was a lot getting lost, so we tried to mix it pretty well with with having that live vibe, with the, the big roominess, the real sound, rather than sounding like a uh, synthetic band which a lot of people are going for production wise these days yeah yeah and you mentioned joel there he was the ex drummer in the band has that been a massive help with trying to capture the sound it has um after the last recording he wasn't too happy with how the uh, production was on the record being an engineer himself there's always going to be that that disagreement from a from an engineer point of view and so with this one he really wanted to almost have a hand in like giving ideas of how to get the most out of all the ambient sort of bits that we have, like just making the peaks a lot bigger. I think he really did well. He didn't he didn't act in a producer sort of way as in rearranging structures or anything like that, but just... He accentuated uh, what you had. Exactly, yeah. He knew what we were going for and what we missed last time, so he already had that in his head rather than being someone with fresh ears, just letting us run with the ball. So it was really good to have that extra opinion. Yep. Now the release of this is coming out through Monolith Records, yep. which is a fair bit different from Shock it last is. time. It's come out on limited vinyl and digital downloads. Yep. Is that a conscious decision by the band to go about it in a different manner? Yeah. We um, Initially when we started writing for this, it was just going to be maybe two songs that we threw online, did a 7-inch or something like that, just to keep people interested. And then we started writing more and more and sort of worked out that we had too much material to really go on a small release but not enough to be a full on hour long album or something so we kind of cut it off at a point and said let's just go with this for now we'll use it as a segue and write another album soon and I guess we weren't we didn't anticipate the uh, tracks coming out as well as they have um, so the initial idea of having it being a real low-key thing kind of contrasts how well the finished product is now. So I don't know if it was a bit of a naive decision to have it so limited and so under the radar, but it's going to be online and stuff for the people that missed out on the physical copies. So as long as people get it in some sort of medium, I'm happy and they can see what we sound like these days. Yep, sounds good. Now you guys don't play heaps of shows throughout the year. Do you make an effort to make sure you don't play too often? So when you do play, you're drawing more of the crowd? Sort of. It's a mix of that and everyone's real life jobs are a bit too demanding to be a full on touring band. Um, 
I think with us as well, we are a lot different than a lot of bands that we play with, that we are a bit more of a physical experience rather than just, you know, going along, seeing someone chug out some stuff and going home with a new t-shirt or something. So it is uh, conscious that we don't want to overplay and kind of make, make it more of an experience without sounding too cheesy when we actually do. Um, it would be great to tour more like we did early on, but as I said, like some of the dudes have got pretty full on real life duties. But uh, yeah, we play when we can, and with the new record, I think we'll play a little bit more than we have the past two years. So you mentioned before about having some tracks left over. Does that mean we can expect some more stuff soon after the release? Hopefully, um, we've been jamming out a little bit, uh, particularly me and the drummer out up in his home studio up in the uh, in the bush. We haven't set anything in stone at the moment, but I'd like to, even if it's just two or three new songs that we can throw online that might come out as a bonus for something else if they're not incorporated with the next batch of songs we write, but it would be good to put something even fresher out in the, in the next few months. Yep, sounds good. So this has been Kevin from Entrenches. Uh, you can get Soul Obscure through one of the records now. Go check them out.